4 is the number right now, when it is pure. When I'm adding solute, this much of solute, this much, then see what is the lowering of the water potential that is happening, the water concentration lowering is happening by one unit, correct? Now if I add more of the solute, now let's see, I'm, if I'm trying to grab, well, 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 let me try to grab, it's just coming out. So, see the reduction, reduction by two units. So water potential now got reduced by two units. I can say the water concentration now got reduced by two units. Fine, with the addition of solute, when as and when you are increasing the amount of solute, the water potential is decreasing. That's the basic concept. Well, let's see. So water potential is basically you will represent as psi W is equal to psi S, which is the solute potential plus the pressure potential. Don't worry, I will explain what's pressure potential for you. Okay? Well, so just recall this. Recall, okay? Kinetic energy will reduce with addition of solute. I just showed you, correct? You got it. Kinetic energy will reduce, concentration will reduce, water potential will reduce as and when you are increasing more and more and amount of solute that is being added to the solution. Correct? Okay. Well, so now can you define solute potential that is psi s? Simple. I showed you. It's a reduction. The magnitude, the magnitude by how much the water potential is decreasing due to the dissolution of the solute. It's the solute potential. Once more, once more, once more. I want to show it to you. You know, I just want to make this very clear. Initially, when there was the red ball, just the blue balls, see, the water potential, four. Addition of all of these, now what has happened? Now what has happened? Now, reduction by two units, two units, correct? So, this is the solute potential. The magnitude, what was the magnitude over here? Two units. The magnitude of the decrease of water potential due to the addition of the solute molecules or the dissolution of the solute molecules is the solute potential. It is always negative because it is reducing. Don't forget about the number line. It is reducing the water potential. It's negative. It's always negative. So, more the amount of solute molecules, so solute potential, it will have a negative value, more of the negative value. Okay. For example, if you add two molecules of solute, if the number is minus two, if you add six more molecules, it may be minus six right now. Random numbers. Okay. So more amount of solute you are adding, more negative will be the value. More negative will be the value. So more lowering of the water potential will happen.